Hey everyone, Michelle McCarthy here from Homeschooling in the Pines. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my second video of my monthly series on Brave Writer, uh, where I'm going to be sharing with you all every single month a the an element from the Brave Writer's lifestyle. And I'm going just hand in hand with what Julie Borgard is doing with Brave Writer. She just want to show the things that I'm learning from her. And last month we talked about read aloud, and I did a video, and I will post that about what you know different ways that you can read aloud to your kids and how important it is to read to your kids so this is the what they're concentrating i just want to show my the calendar i think it's so cute that's what we did last month this month brave writer is concentrating on enjoying television and films so this is for the months of february okay so julie bogart from Ray Rudder, she wants you not to be scared of using movies to teach your children about plot, to teach your children about characters, to do different writing activities by, you know, after watching a movie or watching a television show. I think is great. Taking that time, you know, spend some time with your kids, with your family watching a movie and using that as a learning experience. Okay. Julie, uh, Brave Rider, uh, has a, a, a Brave Rider goes to the movies guide. This guide is usually $10, but for the months of February, she has it for free on her website. So you, it helps you, guide you to how to use movies to, to help your kids learn plot. So see all the elements of plot in about two hours. What is the structure of most movies? And you talk about plot structure, okay? You look at the action and the background, development, climax, and ending, okay? You can use a movie to learn all those things that you think you need to only do by reading books, okay? Sometimes the books are better than the movies, but if you do not want to read, uh, watch a movie that you think is way, uh, read a book that is way too long. In here, she talks about how she wasn't able to get through, you know, the Lord of the Rings books, I think it was, and then, you know, she was able to watch the movie and, you know, get all those elements from the book. So... Yeah, so it talks, it gives some questions that you can ask your kids after, you know, you, you watch a movie, talk about setting. There's so many things that you can talk about after watching a movie. I shared a couple of weeks ago how we use, uh, you know, Stranger Things to talk about characters and, you know, describe characters and, the, and talk about the characters' problems. And we use a, a television show. Find things that your kids like. If your kids love to watch movies, I'm not saying don't read books, but... Once in a while, get a movie and work on on plot by watching a movie. Find a fun activity that you can do by you know from the 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 movie or the show. Restrict yourself from you know. Don't be afraid to watch movies. Television and movies are great. Don't think that television is the is dev, is the devil and is horrible. No, television is great, and you can learn so much from watching movies with your children and watching good television. Okay, I'm not saying to watch junk all the time, but it's just watching good. To television good movies your kids will learn so much from it so i just wanted to share that uh, go ahead and um and you can go to brave rider and download i think it's just for the month of february that she's gonna have this for free then it goes up back to ten dollars this is great so i went ahead and i printed it out okay so yes i just wanted to share with you all what we uh what the brave writers lifestyle element for this month is movies and television and Try to do that. Try if you can go ahead and print this guide if you can. It's free. And make just um watch a movie with your kids and work on this element of, of the plot elements with, with your children. Talk about the movies and enjoy those movies together and count it as school. Okay? Again, my name is Michelle McCarthy from Homeschooling in the Pines, and I will see you all soon.